am finishing up uh, uh, my daughter's birthday cake right now. And um, she requested a Black Forest cake. And so I wanted to give you an update on my research in Black Forest cake and assemble this cake and all of that good stuff. Um, I did a Facebook Live almost two years ago um, talking about the Black Forest cake. And uh, at that, and there's no recipe today, but I hope to have one soon. But I, I did a Facebook Live a couple years ago this is Kirsch brandy, which, which I've learned is not what you use in the Black Forest cake. I'll discuss it in a minute. But um, I, um, a couple years ago, I did a Facebook Live describing how I go about the research process. And in a nutshell, so I live in Germany, and I'm an American, and I'm, you know, I'm living my life here. I'm not full on researching German food every day, although... Kinda, yeah, but also, um, you know, I take things very slow because the last thing I want to do is be all American and like Americanize everything because that, that would not be good. And why would I do that? I'm here, so, but it takes a while. So first thing I've learned in the last couple years is this is a Kirsch brandy and that's not what you use in a Black Forest cake. You use a Kirsch Wasser. I think that's how I say it. It's clear, okay? Now, in order to call it a Black Forest cake, now they're serious about this in Europe. You can't just throw chocolate and cherries together and call it Black Forest. You can't do that. You can't call it Black Forest cookies or Black Forest French toast. You can't do that. You have to, there are, there are some, whoops, there are some specific markers that you need. This is a uh, cream. There are specific markers that you need. So in order to really call it a Black Forest cake, you need to use the clear liqueur, okay? The clear uh, Kirschwasser. So like, um, and not, not this, not this uh, dark red brandy. Of course, I didn't know that, but now I do. So this is probably the last time I use this brandy because I had a little bit left over. Anyway, so I'm learning and learning about... Uh, these things as we go and uh, and so I I think this is maybe the fifth Black Forest cake I've made. This is for my daughter's birthday. My daughter Maria is turning 16 and um, she asked for a Black Forest cake. This is quickly becoming a favorite birthday cake of the family. So hey everybody, thanks for being here. So have you ever noticed that with birthday cake, you know, American birthday cake, we kind of need ice cream with it <laughs> to make it palatable because, you know, it's kind of dry and, well, that's not the case with a Black Forest cake or really any European cake. Um, they're just really light and, and, um, and creamy and, and there's no like dry mouth thing going on. Okay, I want to talk about those cherries in a second. Okay, so here, this is, so this is, this is the first layer. I'm doing three layers. This is the top of my cake. Now, the reason why it turned out like this, it kind of turned out in a mess because I lined the springform pan with parchment paper. And I, you know, I don't, I still don't know what the right, what's best for me. So I'm going to keep experimenting. But now see this cake, so in order to make a proper Black Forest cake, um, you can't just use a, any chocolate cake. So this is what is known as a dacquoise, and that is a very, very light cake. In fact, it's, there's no leaveners in the cake. There's no baking powder or baking soda. Um, it's just, but there's 10 eggs in this cake. So I started out, um, because I'm, I'm rewriting this recipe to go with American pans. And um, so I started out with 10 eggs. And then you separate the whites from the yolks. Hold on a second. I get some more cream in my, uh, in my uh, pastry bag here. So you start out by separating the whites. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna use this one. 
you separate the whites from the yolks. And then you beat the yolks with sugar and cocoa powder. Not much flour. You'd be surprised how little flour is in this. And then, um, and then what else? Not many ingredients. It's, it's very simple. But then you, you take a, all the egg whites and you beat them up in um, a separate bowl. And, um, and then you fold in the egg whites. And that's what makes the cake light and fluffy. So, uh, also in the last year and a half, almost two years, <clears throat> I've learned, so I, I knew this when I got here. Because I, I, I was kind of looking at other, you know, YouTube channels and what are people saying is a black forest cake? Because I, I live here. But so in the United States, we think black forest is just chocolate and cherries. You know, it's all, it's all black forest. And like I said, that's, that's not true. And since I'm here, you know, I kind of need to be mindful of that. So as not to, you know, be bombastic and American and making everything. That's just, I just learned after living around the world, it's not really a good system to do that. So, um, so I know I've seen, and I've seen online in many places, this, this is going to be funny because like I already have a hole in the top of this. So I'm going to work on that. Um, I've seen in many places that, um, people are putting maraschino cherries in a black forest cake. And that's, that's not, that's not the type of cherry. The type of cherry that this is right here, this, which I have way too much cherry filling now, because I realize that. Anyway, this is really good cake though, I have to say. It's a Morello cherry. And it's kind of tart, but it's not as tart. You guys know those organ tart cherries? Which, I mean, I love those because I'm from Oregon too. So it was like half the people watching. Hi. Um, I love those Oregon tart cherries. But, and then I, there's the Oregon sweet cherries. And I was trying to figure out, okay, what's the American version of this, this cherry that I'm using? And um, I couldn't find it. I looked on Amazon. Hi, how you doing? I looked on Amazon to see, okay, well... How hard would it be to find Morello cherries on the American Amazon? Because I can get them at the market down the street, and they're not that expensive. Well, let me tell you, <laughs> there's not that many varieties on the Amazon.com for Morello cherries, and what they do have is crazy expensive, like $25 for a, a jar. So I was like, well, that's, that's not, that's not going to work. So. I just, you know, I just need to go and get some of those dark Oregon cherries or, or the, uh, or the, the tart ones and just try and, and find something that's comparable. Um, because I, I want you guys to be able to taste, taste this, you know, and what it's supposed to taste like. And, and honestly, it's light as air. It's as light as air. Wait. I didn't put kirsch in that. Oh, well. Anyway, it's as light as air. So, and it's just such a good cake. Anyway, I'm getting there. When I started my food blog, you know, The Flying Kitchen in 2010, that was right after I shut down my cake business because that's why I had five kids at the time. And I was like, I'm not making cakes for anybody else. Those days are over. <laughs> And so I thought I'd start a food blog, and also because I knew my husband was not, was he was going to stay in the military. So I thought, well, um, I'll just learn about food wherever we go, and I'll just share the recipes and everything. And that's true, I've done that, but it has not been that straightforward, because um, I learned very quickly that if you go into a place and you don't have an in-depth like knowledge and, and really eye for detail, you're just gonna offend people. Which now I'm having a crisis because I went to Italy and I learned the right way, the right way, sorry Italians, the right way to make pasta. And of course now I'm like, oh gosh, I, I don't wanna be offensive, but I don't know, I, 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 th I think of the pasta, I mean we've, you know, we have such a, you know, Italian heritage in the United States, you can't, 
I don't know. I think there's got to be some uh, wiggle room there. Anyway, so I've iced my Black Forest cake with just whipped cream. With uh, I whipped uh, heavy whipping cream with a little sugar. And now I'm going to cover the whole thing with these chocolate shavings and then um, put a few cherries on top. And then that's it. That's my daughter's birthday cake. So... I um I have been enjoying making my kids' birthday cakes from the very beginning because actually I started decorating cakes. Let me get these chunks off, off of here. I start I I didn't never intended to be like a a cake decorator or even a food person at all, but um this is how we this is how we put this on the sides. You you gotta just kind of go with it. And, um, but I took a cake decorating class when I was eight months pregnant with my oldest child, who's, who's now uh, 24. And um, I just had a ball. And it, it, was, it was enough, because I studied music, but it was enough of a departure that it didn't feel serious to me, because it wasn't anything I was taking seriously. And um, <laughs> so I just had so much fun that I started making cakes for other people. And... Um, I mean, it wasn't long, it was only a couple years, and then I was making like building replicas and other things just because my husband was deployed. My baby slept 12 hours a night, I know. Um, and I was just really lonely, so I just made cakes. So anyway, that's the beginning of how I did the food thing. But, but I studied music in college, so I'm, anyway, but I'm a musical cake person. Anyway. Let's see, I'm almost done here. Let's see if this, there's no way of getting around this. It's just gonna be, it's just gonna be a mess. This is that good chocolate. I'll show you what it is. It's a 60% cacao. The lint, I got this at the market, the German market down the street. Anyway, so I've been working really hard on getting my algorithm going because I thought, well, wouldn't it be nice? My, my hairstylist, uh, Giotta, which by the way, she did my hair today. She did a great job. Every single time I tell her like one day I'll get, cause I used to get paid when I did cakes for people, but you know, not, not really these days. And so I keep telling her one day I'll get paid for this. And she busts out laughing every time. And, um, <laughs> so I decided I was going to try to get my, uh, YouTube channel monetized in the next year, and so far so good. I mean, you have to be relentless. Um, but you know, why not? So anyway, I've been posting a lot of shorts because you know, these Gen Zers, they can't watch anything longer than a minute, but no, I mean, not, I'm not I mean, to, none of us can anymore actually, but I do get a lot of new subscribers when I post shorts, so I've been doing that. But I will post, so here we go. This is getting there. I will post a, uh, look at my hands. I will post a, a proper length video on this cake because there are some things that you just need time to, you know, um, explain properly because you want people to have a good result. And interestingly, strangely, uh, according to my stats, like 50% of my YouTube audience is German. And they're, they're cooking my German recipes, which I, I should put, I mean, I, they know I'm American. They know I don't know what I'm talking about. But I'll tell you what, I mean, I appreciate it. So my, my video for uh, Pflaumenkuchen or Zwetschgenkuchen, uh, a German plum cake, it's gotten so many views in the last month or so because to, it's, it's uh, plum season. And I'm, I'm really shocked. So thank you. And I will, I'll try to put metric measurements there. And I, I, you know, anyway, it's not my country. I just made a video for my American friends to make a German plum cake, but I didn't think that the Germans would actually be watching what I'm doing. So I'm gonna, I don't know what to say. I appreciate it.
Um, so the Morello cherries, these are the Morello cherries. This is the proper cherry for a black forest cake. And like I said, I tried to find, I can find these at the store here down the street, but to find them on the Amazon, like where you could order them, they're crazy expensive. I mean, just insane. So I'm gonna find, probably use that Oregon brand of cherries and then we'll have to modify, add a little sugar. Cause I, I take the cherries and I pull, I, uh, I put it through a sieve and then I just thicken the juice with cornstarch and then add the cherries back to the thickened juice. That's what, that's all this is. Um, but I think I'm going to have to try and find an American version that, that will work. Cause I mean, it's just not maraschino cherries and it, it does make a difference. It really does. Cause these cherries are tart and they're, they're not too sweet. Oh, I'm a mess, but I did it. Okay. Here's, I think this is my fifth or sixth Schwarzwälder Kirschtorte. Um, Schwarzwälder, Schwarzwälder Kirschtorte. Okay, I think I know how to say it right now. This is my fifth or sixth Black Forest cake. This is for my daughter Maria's 16th birthday. And I, I tell people when they're like, oh, sweet 16. I'm like, no, none of my daughters are sweet. <laughs> All my daughters are salty. And I mean for it to be that way because I want them to grow up heavily boundary and not people pleasers. Okay. And so if you're raising girls, don't break them down when they're little. Don't tell them to smile. Don't tell them to be nice. Just let them be who they are. And, 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 and they're going to give you hell between the ages of about mm, 12 and 14. It's going to be rocky. Okay. Maybe even 15. It's going to be rocky, but then you're going to get to the other side and get a really self-assured a uh, young woman who really knows who she is and doesn't take any crap from anybody. And that's what we want. So I say, no, I do not have a sweet 16. I have a, a salty 16 and um, she's a great kid. She's like the kid who gets straight A's because she wants to. <laughs> and if I only had her, I would think that I was just such a better parent than everybody else. But I have other kids who are doing all kinds of interesting and creative things with their grades. And so I know it's not me. I know it's her. So God bless Maria. Salty, smart, don't take any crap. Okay. And that's just the way we want it. Okay. That's all I got today. I so appreciate you being here. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wash my hands now and clean up my mess because it is a mess right now. All this chocolate and whipped cream. And then I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you soon with more maybe interesting things and German grocery unboxings and other things that you might find interesting. So thank you so much for your time. I so appreciate you being here and I'll talk to you again very, very soon. Thanks so much.